praise Jesus. Welcome to the Faithful God Prayer Mountain, a place where we call on God, we trust Him, we depend on Him, we talk to Him in prayer because we know that there is power in prayer. Uh, it's been a minute there, I've been away from Kidogo, but I'm back and uh, thank you for staying there. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me in prayer. And I believe that this prayer that we keep praying to God through the scriptures, through the uh, the the inspirations that we get, that there will be a blessing to you and to everyone else that listens to to you praying or to us praying. Thank you so much for the testimonies that I've been receiving through these prayers, and I pray that more and more and more and more and more and more testimonies will keep coming for the glory and honor of God's name. Thank you so much for also praying for me and for supporting me and I pray that you continue keeping keeping me in the hands of God so that I can continue also to be a blessing to you. So, uh, well, without much ado, I want us to get to the prayer today. Today we are praying through Psalm 64. Hey! Psalm 64 is close to the one we prayed some time back, but this one is more about God defending you and hiding you from your enemies. Because sometimes when you might have enemies and you don't know. Sometimes your friends can turn to be enemies. Sometimes people that are close to you can be used to turn against you. And it's important to involve God in your life so that when those things happen, God hides you, God protects you, God preserves you, God reveals it to you, and uh, you escape. Because <laughs> sometimes uh, enemies can hide, and you might not know they are the ones. You know, in Kiswahili, they say, Kikulacho king wani mwako. Uh, in other words, the one that would really hurt you or frustrate your life is the one closest to you. Because <clears throat> they are able to have access. They're able to know so much about you. They're able to know where your weakness is at. And they're able to, to, to also know where your strength is. And so it's easy for them to attack you or to hurt you. But we want to trust God that he will protect us from such situations and such people and keep them very far from us. And even if they come near, they may not harm us in Jesus' name. Okay. Psalm 64, are you there? It's giving you time to open your Bible so we pray together through the word of God. But as a Kamahuna Bible Haina was, we will continue with <coughs> mine on this end. Okay, are we ready? I believe so. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us this far. We pray for ourselves. <coughs> <coughs> And everyone that we have prayed for today, I ask you, dear Lord, to hear our voice in our meditation and preserve our lives from the fear of the enemy. Lord, preserve our lives. Preserve our lives from the fear of the enemy. Preserve every corner of our lives. Preserve our marriages. Preserve our children. Preserve our businesses. Preserve our ministries. Preserve everything that we put our hands to from the fear of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I ask you to hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked. My God, my King, there are many <coughs> secret counsels of the wicked against our lives, against our marriages, against our finances, against our children, against our nation, against our prosperity, against our health, against our, our, our moving forward, against our destiny helpers. Jehovah, my God, my King, I pray that today you will hide us. Hide us, Jehovah God, from these wicked counsels. Hide us that they may not see us. Hide us that they may not feel us. Hide us that they may not identify us. Hide us that they may not locate us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Oh, Jehovah, my Father, my King, won't you hide us from the counsel of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father God, <coughs> hide us from the re rebellion of the workers of iniquity. 
Father God, there are many people who are working day and night to make our lives hard, to make our lives miserable, to make us lose the faith, to make us lose the path, to make us lose our salvation, to make us lose what you have given to us. Father, hide us from such people. Hide us from people who want us to miss heaven. Hide us from people who want us to miss your blessings. Hide us from people who want us to, 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 to sin against you and do iniquity so that you cannot bless us. Oh, that you may... <coughs> And not lift us. Father, Lord, I pray. Oh, hide us from such rebellious people. Hide us from people this that love working iniquity. Oh, Jehovah God, people around us that want to push us to do the wrong thing, that want to push us to <clears throat> unrighteousness and to wickedness and to rebellion. Oh, my God, hide us from such people that we may not attract the judgment of the Lord because of wrong connections, because of wrong friends, because of wrong people, because of wrong <coughs> ideologies. My Father, I pray, protect us, cover us, hide us, shelter us from such people. Keep them far from us. Keep them far from our children. All those workers of iniquity, may they not befriend our children. May that friendship backfire. May that friendship not work. May that friendship not go through. In the name of Jesus, all these workers of iniquity, may they not touch my spouse. May they not touch our spouses. May they not touch our businesses. May they not be our business partners. May they not be our clients. May they not be our workers. May they not be our employees or our employers. May they not be anywhere close to us, Jehovah God. And even when they try, hide us from them, Lord. Hide us from such people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> Father God, protect us and hide us from those who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even with bitter words. Jesus, we are surrounded by people who have bitter words, people who are ready to just spread venom with their mouths. Lord, I pray that you hide us from such people. Lord, I pray that you deliver us from such people. People that have spoken or speak ill of us. People that speak bitter words. People that are hurt, hurt others. Lord, I pray that you preserve us from such people. Where, let us be a blessing to them by encouraging them. But let them not be a curse to us by speaking bitter words from their experiences. And Lord, if there is anyone we have offended, if there is anyone we have hurt, if there is anyone I have done wrong, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive my listener, forgive my viewer, forgive us, Lord, so that these bitter words may not come to us. So that these bitter words may not find a footing. May these bitter words not find, find a ground to land on and to mature in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, preserve us from bitter words. Preserve us from people who have spoken bitter words. Preserve us from people who will speak bitter words in the name of Jesus. Remove us from congregations of bitter words. Remove us from fellowships of bitter words. Remove us from co uh, college of bitter words. Remove us from companies of bitter words. Remove us from people of bitter words. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, it's my prayer. It's my desire that you will preserve us. There are people who use their tongue to shoot bitter words. They use their tongue to shoot bad words. They use their tongue to curse. They use their tongue to speak venom. Lord, I pray that you preserve us from such people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Lord, I pray that <clears throat> these people, when our enemies may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly shoot at and and do not Eh, I'm not getting it properly. Father God, preserve us from these people who shoot in the secret. May they not shoot at us in the name of Jesus. They suddenly appear and shoot. Lord, I pray that we will not fear them and they will not get us. Those that shoot in the secret, these are people that are very close to us, that know everything about us, and they go behind our backs. These are people who shoot when they are when they are aware they cannot miss the target. Lord, preserve us from such people. 
Preserve us from such friends. Preserve us from such relatives. Preserve us from such relationships with people who are shooting us in secret. People who, in, 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 the, in the foreground, in the fore, <coughs> uh, when you look at them, they are, they are, they are our friends. They, they hang out with us. They hug us. They, they, they pretend to love on us. But behind our backs, they are actually shooting us. Lord, protect us from such people. Protect us from backstabbers in the name of Jesus. Those, and even preserve us <coughs> from those who suddenly shoot us. We were good. We were okay. Suddenly, they just turned against us. Lord, preserve us from such people. Once those ones are very dangerous because you don't see it coming. Lord, help us. Lord, graciously help us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> Father, these evil people, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of links near us privately. They say, who shall see them? Lord, these are the people that are saying that they hide their snares privately. They do them chiniamaji, so to speak. Lord, preserve us from such people. Preserve us from these people who are congregating privately for my downfall. Let me escape without a scratch and let them fall into those snares themselves in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, they search out iniquities, these people. The enemy searches out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. But God, hallelujah, but God shall shoot at them with an arrow. <laughs> the arrow they are planning for me, the arrow they are planning for you, the arrow they are planning for us. Eh? It will turn back. It will turn back in the name of Jesus. It will turn back. And God will shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Mm. Mama so colored. Suddenly shall they be wounded. The same way they wanted you to be wounded. They wanted you to be down. They wanted you to be discouraged. They wanted you to be hurt. They wanted you to be mad. They wanted you to be chased. They wanted you to be bankrupt. Rose shall reverse in the name of Jesus. And God is saying, suddenly they shall be wounded. When they are not even thinking about it. The way they were planning to just appear suddenly against you. God says, mm -mm, I'll deal with them. And the Bible says, so shall they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. <laughs> and all that see them shall fall away. Mm -hmm. Their tongue shall fall upon themselves. Meaning, the words that they wanted to use against you will work against them. The, the negative words they want to throw at you or they are throwing at you will come back and work on them themselves. Those words will fall upon themselves. Hallelujah. God, I pray, anyone that has been speaking negative against my life, against my business, against my marriage, against my children, against my future, against my destiny helpers, my destiny connectors, my destiny lifters. Oh, Jehovah God, arise, shoot at them and let their words fall upon themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you that all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Ooh, hallelujah. Hey, and all men shall fear and declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. When people shall look at your life, they will see the doing of the Lord and they will fear your God. And they'll declare that your God is God. Oh, glory to Jesus. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, the righteous shall be glad in the Lord. I shall be glad in the Lord because I am righteous. You shall be glad in the Lord because you are righteous. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, may you cause your righteousness to cause us to rejoice in you. We shall be glad because we are righteous. We shall be glad not because we are perfect, not because we have made it, not because we have no flaws, but because we have made, been made the righteousness of God. And out of that righteousness of God, we shall be glad in the Lord because we are righteous in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall trust in you, O God. We shall trust in you for our children. Trust in you to get children. Trust in you to raise the children. Trust in you to have godly families. Trust in you for our marriages. Trust in you to get married. Trust in you to have godly spouses. Trust in you to go, to have good businesses. Trust in you. Even now when everything is going up, inflation has hit uh, very high levels and the economic crunch is a mess. Lord, we are trusting in you. We are trusting in you. We are not trusting on the dollar. We are not trusting on the pound and the euro. We are not trusting even on the rand that is near our home. We are trusting in you in the name of Jesus. We are, our faith is in you. Our hope is in you in the name of Jesus Christ. And all the upright in heart shall glory.